Number 10. Three pranksters threw a three-foot python through the drive through window of a Taco Bell at a worker that happens to have a fear of snakes. Yeah! The snake has gone to a good home, though, in case you were wondering. In fact, I have a little story about it if you want to hear it. Okay, so here's the story. Mandy Page, who works at the drive through at the Thunderstorm that's near the Taco Bell where the snake got thrown through the wind, she already has two pet ball pythons. She was able to persuade the police to let her take it into her care, and she had a couple of things to say about it. As soon as I saw it, I had to have it, Page said. I can't believe someone threw that damn thing through the window. It could have hurt somebody. Number nine. Masked men return 400 pounds, yes, I said it right, 400 pounds of Taco Bell hot sauce. Apparently, the return trip was that of redemption. Their guilt got to them. They had been keeping these packages with them for many years, to the tune of 25,000 packages. They had tried to sell these things on eBay, but clearly nobody wanted them. Not even with free shipping and free returns. Number eight. Man cuts line at Taco Bell and then gets a <laughs> Nacho Supreme Smackdown. Look, the details were scarce, but here's what I know. The man tried to cut in line at Taco Bell. He couldn't wait any longer, could you? Other customers weren't having it. Would you? Who would? One customer was even heard saying, Hey yo, back the F up, bro. Well, this guy wasn't having it. He wanted that Supreme and he was gonna get it. After he jumped in line one more time, the customer had had enough. He gave him the Nacho Supreme talk down. Number seven. Louisiana woman calls 911 after Taco Bell runs out of not only soft tacos, but the hard ones as well. Unfortunately for her, the police said, while we do know that this is a travesty of biblical proportions, there simply is nothing we can do. Please leave. Number six. Tacos and cash stolen from a little church secretary. Fredericksburg police were searching for a man that had robbed the little church secretary and stolen from her purse not only $26 in cash, but her tacos too. I want to commend this lady for always carrying tacos in her purse because you just never know. Plus equals number five. Look, a Georgia man firebombs a you-know-what out of a damn Taco Bell over a Chalupa portion size. The suspect ordered two XXL Chalupas, but was not happy upon returning home to see the portion size that the stingy employee had handed out. He rang the restaurant, as any of us would, to complain about the portion size, but the manager exclaimed, we're closing, there's nothing I can do for you. The suspect apparently racially abused the manager and promised to redecorate the place at which point he then made a Molotov cocktail and headed back to Taco Bell. The rest, as they say, is history. Number four. Man slaps boy across the face with a taco. Police arrested a 36-year-old man after, phew, allegedly, slapping a boy across the face. A 16-year-old boy with a burrito. Apparently, there was a verbal altercation inside the Taco Bell, at which point the 36-year-old asked his mother to retrieve <laughs> said burrito, upon which point he delicately unwrapped it and aggressively slapped the 16-year-old across the face like he deserved it. Luckily, the boy did not receive any injuries, but police did note that he had cheese and burrito dressing dripping down his young little face. <laughs> Number three. Confrontation over taco sauce leads to a shooting at its Southwest Oklahoma Taco Bell location. Because what's the next logical step to do after a confrontation over taco sauce? It appears that it was some type of confrontation through the drive through window. Aren't those always where it starts? A man was complaining about not getting enough sauce and was very upset. And let's just be honest for a second. Those employees do kind of act like it's their own money they're giving away with that sauce. Number two. Florida woman slaps husband across the face with a taco. He retaliates as any of us would with a fork. Both were arrested. 
Earlier, an argument had taken place between husband and wife. There was some drinking involved. We all knew that. Husband wanted to continue the party. Wife didn't. The argument happened. A taco was used. A taco was struck. A man was hit upside the head. A fork was dislodged. Both of them are sitting in county jail, feeling like jackass. <laughs> Number one. Last and certainly not least, a man attempts to rob Taco Bell, but then ask for a job application instead. Y'all, times are tough these days, as we all know. Now, the article claims that the man's description was sketchy. Of course it was. We wouldn't be reading this if the man's description wasn't sketchy, now would we? He entered the fast food restaurant, pointed a gun at the cashier, demanding that they open the register. He then, for some unknown reason, went to the manager's office and asked for an application. He's now working at McDonald's drive through <laughs> That was a joke, but it wouldn't surprise me. The manager said no for obvious reasons, and then the man left with no money, with no job, with no dignity. That's been our top ten for this week. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you soon.